Hello everyone, this is Jyoti. In this uh, video, we will discuss on how to capture the complete inbound EDI document that we receive from the partner. In general, in our process, we will be having the trading partner as a start sheet. So whenever we receive the inbound document, the transactional set will be forwarded in the documents part. It will not have the headers, that is ISA segments. So if we, were, if we, have, if we want to capture the complete EDI document, then we have one option that is archiving. So if we enable this checkbox, one more path will be available that is archive path. Here in this archive path, it will forward the complete in inbound EDI document that we receive from the partner. So this is sample uh, process I have created. Let me test it once. So if you have a requirement like uh, sending a mail notification with the complete EDI that you receive or uh, want to store it in some other location, then you can use this archive part. Now, if you see the documents path, you can see it will be having only the transaction set. It will not have the ISA GSA segments that are the header, headers will not be available. But if we go to the archiving path, we can see the complete inbound EDI that we receive from the partner. So we can add whatever the logic we want here that we want to do with the complete ADI document. In the same way, for outbound process also, like when we send the <clears throat> data to the partner, all the headers will be generated in the trading partner component, right? So if we want to capture the complete uh, outbound document that is generated in the same way, we can use this archiving path and we can add the logic. Uh, for example, we can add the logic to send mail notification. Here, the complete outbound document will be forwarded to this particular path. Hope this helps. Thank you.